meeting of the Committee on National Defense of the Commission of Appointments in the third regular session of the 18th Congress is hereby called to order. Mr. Secretary, can you call the roll? Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. The Honorable Chairperson, Representative Luis John John A. Ferrer IV is present, Committee on National Defense, Commission on Appointments. The other officers and members of this committee are Alvarez Jr. Arbison. Present. 
la rosa. Go. Present. Lapson. Pimental the third. Cagas. Tipeco Jr. Present. Noel. Angelinan. O. Ramirez Sato. Present. Recto. Revilla Jr. Villar. Subiri. Zamora. Almario. Villanueva. Pancho. Present. Drilon. Advincula. Present. Ron. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chairman, uh, three villages present. Jolly noted, sir. Okay, with two members present in person, including the chair, and 12 members present online, with a total of 14 members present, the existence of a quorum is hereby declared. Majority Leader. Mr. Chair. I move that we dispense with the reading of the minutes of the previous meeting held on September 29, 2021, and consider the same as approved. For any objection? Chair hears none. The reading of the minutes of the previous meeting held on September 29, 2021, is dispensed with, and the same is considered approved. Good morning, esteemed members of the Committee on National Defense, Commission Appointments, Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, today your committee will deliberate on the 21 ad interim appointments of general and senior officers of the armed forces of the Philippines. Gentlemen, kindly stand up as your name is called. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, sorry. Florante S. Baterina, the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force. Marcus Jason D. Bartolome, to the rank of Captain, Philippine Navy. Angel E. Queno, to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force. Philip M. Fahel, to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army. Warren C. Munda, to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army. Claremont. W. Pinpin, to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army. Aileen C. Domine, to the rank of Captain, Philippine Navy. Leo C. Dimok, the rank of Captain, Philippine Navy. Alvin S. Aspiras, to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army. Alex H. Gakula, to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army. Eduardo B. Gubat, to the rank of Brigadier General. Montano B. Almodovar, to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army. Rosalino U. Estorquia, to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army. William Victorino F. Upano, to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army. Alfredo V. De Rosario, oh sorry, Alfredo V. Rosario Jr. to the rank of Lieutenant General. Robert C. Daus to the rank of Lieutenant General. Armand M. Arevalo to the rank of Brigadier General. 
y a Gore Ray P. Baroquillo Jr., to the rank of Brigadier General. Gerardo P. Catindoy, to the rank of Major General. Arvin R. Lagamon, to the rank of Brigadier General. Nolasco A. Mempin, to the rank of Major General. Mr. Secretary, kindly report on the jurisdiction requirements and other pertinent information relative to the 21 ad interim appointments in compliance with the new rules of the Commission and the new rules of the Standing Committees. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, Your Honours. The 21 ad interim appointments dated October 1 and 4 and November 3, 2021, under consideration today by the Committee, were received by the Commission on November 22 and December 1, 2021, and were forthwith referred by the Senate President and CA Chairperson Vicente Ciso to the third to the Committee on National Defense, pursuant to Section 16, Chapter 5 of the new rules of the Commission. The said ad interim appointments were published on various dates in two newspapers of general circulation and broadcast over PTV4 pursuant to Section 2, Article 2 of the new rules of the standing committees. All the appointees complied with the submission of the mandatory documentary requirements as provided in Section 24, Chapter 6 of the new rules of the Commission. There is no opposition filed against any of the appointees. That is all, Mr. Chairman, Your Honours. Thank you, Mr. Secretary, and please administer the oath to all our appointees. Kindly all stand and raise your right hand. Do you all swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in this proceeding? So help you God. Mr. Chairman, they are now all under oath. Thank you, Paul. May we call on Lieutenant General Alfredo V. Rosario, Jr., the most senior among the officers now under consideration. Sir. General, you may now give your opening statement if you have any. Your Honours, uh, good morning, sir. I am Lieutenant General Alfredo V. Rosario, Jr., Philippine Army. Uh, currently, the commander of Western Mindanao Command is stationed in uh, Calarian, Sambuanga City. The Joint Operational Area of Western Mindanao Command covers the whole of the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao. The provinces under Region uh, 12, all the provinces under Region 9, uh, Misamis Occidental of Region Region 10, uh, including the cities of Sambuanga City, Cotabato City, and General Santos City. Sir. All in all, the, the command supervises uh, six joint task forces operating uh, to the within the area of jurisdiction, jurisdiction of the Western Mindanao Command. This includes here the island provinces of Basilan, Sulu, and Tawi-Tawi. We are now ready, sir, for any uh, clarifications or uh, uh, comments with regards to the officers uh, appearing before the Commission on Appointments, sir. Thank you, General. Um... The floor is now open for any inquiries or manifestation from our members. Senator Lapson. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Except to say that I fully support the confirmation of Lieutenant General uh, Rosario and Lieutenant General Daos. They both belong to class of 1988 of the Phil Philippine Military Academy. The very powerful class, uh, Mr. Chairman. I said powerful because Ms. Tanila yung Chief of Staff, Ms. Tanila yung Chief PNP, Ms. Tanila yung Coast Guard Commandant, Ms. Taparin la yung Director General. 
No, I was uh, almost tempted to say snappiest class, pero my classmates will kill me. So, tama na yung powerful class. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Both here in the committee and in the plenary, I will, uh, I'm supportive of their confirmation. Thank you. Thank you very much, Senator Pino. Mr. Chairman. Yes, um, Senator Bongo, you are recognized, sir. Mr. Yes, Chairman, sir. Just, uh, let me... Uh, let me just thank the uh, 21 officers before us uh, this morning for their uh, selfless uh, contributions and uh, sacrifices in the service of the Filipino nation. Uh, let me make off record my full support for the confirmation of the ad interim appointments of Colonel Florante Baterina, na naging group commander ng Tactical uh, Operations Group 11 Eastern Mindanao, at kasalukuyang director for operations 205 uh, Tactical Helicopter Wing, Cebu. Kay Colonel Philip uh, Pahel, na nagsilbi bilang Executive Officer, 73rd Infantry Battalion, 10th Infantry Division, Philippine Army sa Davao Occidental. At ngayon ay uh, Director for Operations ng National Task Force, or LCAC. Kay Colonel uh, Warren Munda, na naging Assistant Chief of, of Unified Command for Civil Military Operations, uh, U7 Eastern Mindanao Command, Davao City, at kasalukuyang uh, student officer ng Master in National Security MNSA. Uh, kay Colonel Alvin uh, Aspiras na naging Deputy Group Commander ng 11th Regional Def uh, Community Defense Group, Army Reserve Command, uh, Davao City. At kay uh, Brigadier General Eduardo Ubat na naging Assistant Chief of Command for Operations U3 ng Eastern Mindanao Command, Davao City. At kasalukuyang Brigade Commander ng 603rd. Colonel uh, Rosalino Estorquia, na nagsilbing bilang assistant, uh, acting assistant chief of staff for intelligence G2, 7th uh, Infantry Division, at ngayon ay chief of staff ng uh, uh, Joint Task Force Haribon sa East Mincom, Davao City. Okay, of course, kay Lieutenant General Alfredo Rosario Jr., ngayon po ay uh, Western Mindanao Command, uh, Commander, at naging uh, Deputy Commander rin po ito ng uh, East Mincom, uh, sa JTF uh, Haribon rin po. Of course, kay Major General Nolasco Mempi na nagsilbi bilang Task Force Tabao, nagsilbi bilang Assistant Division Commander ng 10th uh, uh, ID sa MAWAP at ngayon ay Deputy Chief, for, Chief of Staff for Civil Military Operations uh, Office of the Deputy Chief of Staff J7. Kay uh, Brigadier General Arman Arevalo na naging uh, Deputy Regiment Commander ng 1st Scout Ranger Regiment uh, Special Operations Command, Philippine Army. At kasalukuyang Deputy Commander ng Southern Luzon Command. Of course, kay Lieutenant General Robert Daus na nagsilbi bilang Vice Commander ng Philippine Army at kayon po ay Commander po ng VISCOM uh, dyan sa Cebu. Kay Brigadier General Diego Ray Baroquillo Jr., na naging uh, Head Executive Assistant to the Chief of Staff at kasalukuyang Regiment Commander ng Army Intelligence Regiment, Philippine Army. At si Colonel Angel Cueno, nagsilbing bilang Wing Inspector ng Tactical Operations Wing Northern Luzon at ngayon ay Group Commander ng 445, ah, 440th Aircraft Maintenance Group, Air Education Training and Doctrine Command. Further, I would like to extend my full support for the confirmation of the ad interim appointments of Navy Captain Marcos Jason Bartolome, Colonel uh, Claremont Pinpin, Navy Captain Eileen Domine, Navy Captain Leo Dimo, Colonel Alex Gagula, Colonel Montano Almodovar, Colonel William Opano, Major General Gerardo Catindoy, at Brigadier General Arvin Lagamon. With that, once again, we'd like to thank each and every one of you for your unmatched service uh, to the Filipino nation and our people. Salamat po sa inyong uh, servisyo, lalo-lalo na po ngayong uh, pandemya na kailangan po ng ating mga kababayan ng uh, tulong. Muli, congratulations uh, to all of you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you very much po, Senator Bongo. Um, before we proceed, the chair would like to recognize the presence online of uh, Senator Grace Po. Good morning, ma'am. Senator Bong Revilla. Oh. 
Okay. Senator Revilla, you are recognized. Okay. Uh, any other member who wants to manifest? Uh, Representative uh, Arbison, boss. Thank you, thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I just want to manifest my full support to the confirmation of Major General Rosario, Alfredo Rosario Jr. as uh, Westman Com Commander. Maraming salamat, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much, Po Kong Manier. Any other member wish to... Well, Mr. Mr. Chairman? Hi, um, Senator Kong Pimentel, you are recognized, sir. No, just to manifest my uh, presence, sir. Thank you very much. Hi, okay, Po. Morning, Po. Any other member? There being no other member who wants to manifest or have an inquiry, uh, Majority Floor Leader. Yes, uh, Mr. Chair, I move that the committee recommends to the plenary for the commission to confirm the 21 ad interim appointments of the general and senior officers of the armed forces of the Philippines. I so move, Mr. Chair. Is there any objection? The chair hears none. The motion is hereby approved. Majority Leader. Mr. Chair, there being no other matters to discuss, I move to adjourn the meeting. In objection, uh, Chair hears none. On motion of Majority Leader, there being no objection, the meeting is hereby adjourned. Congratulations, Paul. The
The Commission on Appointments in the third regular session of the 18th Congress is hereby called to order. Let us all pause for a minute of silent prayer. Please remain standing for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem. Secretary, please call the roll. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. The honorable members of the Commission on Appointments. Advincula. Present. Palmario. Alvarez Jr. Present. Arbison. Present. Agas, Peco Jr. Present. De La Rosa, Drilon, Ferrer de Fort, Peron, Go. Present po. Lapson. Noel, Pancho, Present, Pangilinan, Pimentel the Third, Present, Mo, Present, Amir Sato, Present, Recto, Revilla Jr. Villanueva, present. present. Villar, Zamora, Piri. The chairperson is present. All right, with um, three members present physically. And the 15 online for a total of 18, the chair declares the existence of a quorum. Majority Leader? Yes, uh, Mr. Chair, I move to dispense with the reading of the journal of the plenary session held on December 1, 2021, and consider the same as approved. Any objection? Chair, here's none. The journal is approved. Continue, Majority Leader. Mr. Chair, may we now proceed to consider the recommendation of the Committee on National Defense and the ad interim appointments of 21 general and senior officers of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. I so move, Mr. Chair. Any objection? Chair, here is none. The consideration of the recommendation of the Committee on National Defense is in order. Majority Leader. Mr. Chair, I move that the chairperson of the Committee on National Defense, Representative Luis John John A. Ferrer, be recognized. The gentleman from Committee, Representative Luis John John Ferrer IV, is hereby recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chair, distinguished members of the Commission Appointments, 
this representation as chairman of the Committee on National Defense presided over a public hearing this morning to deliberate on the ad interim appointments of 21 general and senior officers of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. Your committee, after deliberating on their qualifications and fitness during the public hearing, determined that they are all, all fit and qualified to be promoted to the ranks where they are all appointed and nominated to, and therefore ruled to recommend to the plenary for the commission to confirm the ad interim appointments of 21 general and senior officers in the Armed Forces of the Philippines. First on the list is Alfredo V. Rosario, Jr., to the rank of Lieutenant General. Is there any objection? Hearing none. Approved. Robert C. Daus, to the rank of Lieutenant General. Any objection? Hearing none. Approved. Gerardo P. Catindoy, to the rank of Major General. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Velasco A. Mempin, to the rank of Major General. Any objection? Mr. President, Mr. President. Senator Bernaba. Thank you, Mr. President. This is to second the motion of our uh, dear chairman. It is my honor and privilege to support the confirmation of uh, Nolasco Alvaran Mempin, a fellow Bulakeño to the position of Major General. Uh, he's born to the late spouses Alberto T. Mempin and Elena Alvaran, both natives of San Miguel, Bulacan, uh, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Nolasco started his career in military in 1986 as a cadet at the Philippine Military Academy and rose from the ranks in the Army organizational hierarchy until his present position as Deputy Chief of Staff for Civil Military Operations. J7 Armed Forces of the Philippines. Mr. President, aside from uh, the two distinguished uh, service stars he received in 2013, 2020, he was also recognized with four meritorious achievement medals. These awards show not only his excellence in performing his duties, but more so his dedication in serving the people in his 35 years of military service. Major General Nolasco truly deserves the confirmation of his appointment to a higher position in our military service. And uh, I am proud that another fellow Bulakeño is excelling in his chosen field. May God bless him in his future endeavors. And so I second the motion of our distinguished chair. Thank you, Mr. President. All right, truly seconded. Hearing no objection, motion is approved. Yegor Ray P. Baroquillo Jr. to the rank of Brigadier General. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Arvin R. Lagamon, to the rank of Brigadier General. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Armand M. Arevalo, to the rank of Brigadier General. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Eduardo B. Gubat, to the rank of Brigadier General. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Montano B. Almodovar, to the rank of Colonel Philippine Army. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. William Victorino F. Upano, to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Rosalino U. Estorquia, to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Philip M. Fahel, to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Warren C. Munda, to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Claremont W. Pinpin, to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Alex A. H. Gakula, Gagula, to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Alvin S. Aspiras, to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Lorante S. Baterina, to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Angel E. Queno, to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. 
Marcos, Jason B. Bartolome, the track of captain, Philippine Navy. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Leo C. Timo, the track of captain, Philippine Navy. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Eileen C. Domine, the track of captain, Philippine Navy. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. That is all, Mr. Chairman. Your honors, thank you, Paul. Thank you. Uh, the majority leader. Mr. Chair, there being no other matters to discuss, I move to adjourn. Any objection? President, Mr. President. Just Senator, Senator Pangilinan is uh, recognized. Thank you. Uh, just to manifest that I came after the roll call uh, for the information of our Secretariat. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Yes, uh, we will make note of that. Uh, Senator Bongo, you were raising your hand. Ah, uh, you were just raising your hand. You're on mute. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> I don't think that. Nagbabay lang ako. Kala ko adjourn na. Ah, yeah, okay yeah. Ah, yes, yeah, sir. About to eat. Uh, going to be adjourned already. Yeah, uh, totoo ba? Totoo ba? Alin, sir? Nag-taxi ka? Sinibatan ko sila. <laughs> Para wala. Right. Hindi mag-leak. Alright. Any objection to the adjournment? Hearing none. Session is adjourned. Congratulations. Merry Christmas sa lahat. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Paul. Congratulations. Paul. Kong A.